first officers on scene encountered the child that had been shot in the street with the adult using what is described as a pump action shotgun. I won't expand on that, but I think most people can imagine what that was like for arriving officers. Further along Biddick Drive, we then have two injured members of the public as more officers arrived. And then they're pointing where uh, Mr. Davison has gone. Further officers are attending and then encountering, encountering a, a further murdered male and female. And then ultimately Mr. Davison himself who's taken his own life. It starts, we believe, with a domestic related incident between uh, Mr. Davison and a lady who lived at the premises. It's a familial relationship, but at the moment we're working with the family and want to make sure all the family know. Um, but that then comes out onto the street. Um, as, as I say, we don't know the motivation of Mr. Davison. In our society, tragically, we do live with domestic related homicide, then suicide. Um, We've had one recently within the force area of homicide followed by suicide, but we've never in my time had homicide followed by a rampaging firearms attack on random members of the public and then taking one's life. That is without precedent in my time as Chief Constable. There were two people who were shot and injured, but there were others who witnessed some of those murders. How are they? Uh, traumatised, extremely traumatised. Um, I think whilst we're trained and we are trained to run towards danger and deal with it, that's why the Commission's made available uh, for those who witnessed and we've got specialist officers with them and liaison officers and we'll make referrals if they wish. Um, what was upsetting, I understand it in a digital age, the images were shared to people who've opened things on their phone not expecting to see what they, they, they found. And that's why um, you'll make the number available, but why the, the Commission said anyone can phone victim support. These are particularly traumatising images. What do you know about Jake Davison? We know that he's 22 years old. We know that Devon and Cornwall Police have a firearms licence granted to him. Um, I can tell you that we have literally many thousands of firearms licence holders within the force area. They're regularly reviewed in legislation but we do take firearms licences away from people when they come to notice of police or family members raise concerns, later to restore them once we're assured. That will form part of the inquiry. When was it granted? Was it granted correctly? Was it ever removed? Was it ever restored? And that will be made available to you, the coroner, and we're working with the Independent Office of Police Complaints on that. Do you know yet whether he held a licence last night? As I understand it, Martin, right now, he was still a licence holder last night. How do you go about establishing motive? I mean, what, what are you doing in terms of investigating him? So in terms of investigating him, yourselves, not least, already looking at his social media uh, accounts. We'll be looking at any phone accounts, clearly speaking with his family members, members of the community who knew him, perhaps where he worked, building a life picture of, of, of Mr. Davison. Looking at earlier life, any motivations or indications that we may have missed or could have been spotted. But I don't want, now want to do the call to hindsight. We need to understand what drew him to attend, we believe, a family member's home to take a life there, and then, most unusually, to go onto the street to do what he did. I just want to give my condolences and sympathy to the family and the friends of everybody that's involved. And also praise to the emergency services and the police for the rapid response. The tragedy happened last night and there are a lot of issues, implications, lives have been lost, people have been murdered. This is absolutely tragic and devastating. And for the entire community right now, this will be deeply shocking. So obviously that's where the focus is. There will be a range of questions that will inevitably be asked and I'll be doing exactly the same for the conversations and the discussions that I'll be having with the Chief Constable.